Okay, so this is PlayStation Plus free games, episode 4. This is Mass Effect 3. I'm just going to do the multiplayer because I don't want to spoil any of the single player. But, um, if you haven't, if you got PlayStation Plus, you download this, make sure you've played the first two because there's no point in playing Mass Effect 3 unless you haven't played the second, last two. Because the last two, you know, you can carry your saves over, you get so much more stuff in Mass Effect 3. So, this is the multiplayer. Let's find a quick match. Let's do a location. This location is a good location. Is that a good location? There's lots of maps. There's lots of free add ons that I haven't actually downloaded for this. Let's go in there. See if we can find someone. There we go. In already. It's basically horde mode. <laughs> and it's kind of fun. Oh, great. Of course. And it's kind of fun. When it's like, when it's going right, it's actually fun. It's got like a micro transaction sort of thing. You've got the store here. I got 25,000 credits. Oh, I got a few for free. I got 25,000 credits. So you can like buy stuff with real money or start for it for free. Might as well. <laughs> so you get random stuff in there. Oh, look, I got a sniper rifle. What's in this one? I got an assault rifle. Amazing. But, um, yeah. Let's try and find a quick match in. There might be a little bit of glare on the top left of the screen, but there's nothing I can do. I'm moving into a different room, and there won't be an issue anymore because uh, the uh, where the TV is, it won't be facing the, the window. It's the, 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 the multiplayer is extremely difficult. Um, even on bronze, like difficulty, it's, like, it's, it's kind of like a you gotta keep playing and playing. Even if you're losing, you gotta like grind to get the best to get the best equipment and stuff like that. And then you can go to silver, and then you can go to gold. I oh, come on, I found a match earlier. There's lots of different characters you can play as. You can play as all six classes. You can you can even play as like the Krogan and like the Asari and like the I cut Morden Morden or isn't it races? I don't know if it's races. Oh come on! Come on. Of course this would happen when I'm recording this and do it again. The reason why I picked this map is because this map like one of the best maps. The other maps are like really confined. Okay, I'll I'll, I'll just press any. I should find a match. There we go. 
I also need to get a, a, a chair that isn't squeaky. That would help. So, the, the other one, the other PlayStation Plus game I might do is Dead or Alive 5. Problem is, I don't know how to play fighting games. It might happen, but it'll, you know, I have no idea what I'm doing. I might not show the game off very well. But it's really, it's just really fun, Dead or Alive 5. So I might just show it off anyway. Me. In there. Yes, I got that remote. Too loud. So, four players, the surviving hordes. There's different objectives at certain points. Some points you have to like hack stuff. Sometimes you have to like kill a certain enemy. I'm a adept, I believe. It seems to be quite useful. I got the singularity skill. We're fighting against the Geth, I see. There's like three different ones at the moment. I believe with the add ons, they added more. Basically, we have to just sit in the air and capture it. Run into it. I just stand in here. Hey, it will hack it. Oh god, someone's down. He's up. Everyone seems to be human. Look, I, I pick human because, like, the other classes, like, especially the Krogan, they take up way too much of the screen. Like, the FOV isn't, like, big enough.
Oh. You get ammo at the end of the round. There are ammo spots around the map. I don't know where they are though. Skills, shockwave, We've got warp, which takes armor down, and singularity, which basically just does that. Sometimes the camera goes a bit weird. Some ammo. I need some ammo. Oh, oh, Jesus. You can shoot their back. Can I shoot the back? Can I shoot the bryo on the back? Oh, dead now. Off. Hey, so we got to kill enemies. We've got to kill four Pacific enemies, and you get time bonuses for killing them. And you got to do it, otherwise you fail the mission. It's not like a side objective. I hate the gift. My least favourite enemy to fight. Jesus. I like fighting the the Cerberus or the or the, the Reapers. God. 
Hey, the gift. Come on. Oh, come on. Some ammo anywhere, please? Where are you? Ammo. Run pretty fast, yeah. Where the hell's the ammo piles? I need one. There's one. Oh, God, God no. Help me. I oh, ain't gone down like a hundred times, yeah. Oh my god, he's gone down again! <laughs> oh, what the hell? I can't to aim down the sides. I'm gonna lose! No! Oh, he died. I thought I was arriving and he died. Come on, alone. Got it. I believe it will come back. I need some. I need some ammo. There's an old button. Again. I thought your gaming skill went down like by ten when you were recording, not your gaming skill went down when other people were recording. Melee is a bit buggy. Last round? No, yes, yes, no. What, and you have to do one video for this? Because I don't really know what much there is to show else after this. I guess I could show off the levelling up. Oh. 
Extraction point as it ends, as the round ends, you get like a bonus point. And it's kind of annoying when like no one, like one person's not in the circle. This is bad. Oh great. You gotta tap X to not dive. I can use a many pack to avoid myself. Right at the end. Oh no 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 everyone's gonna die! We're all gonna die. Oh I'm gonna use one. Might do it. Might do it. We did it. 
Get in, get in, get in, get in. We did it. We... See, each match takes around 20 minutes. On average, I see. So, you know, it's, you know, it's pretty good, I'd say. You know, I don't think that match was that good. Like, depending on what map, that map wasn't really good. What enemy type, it really depends on what enemy type there is. You know, what map you're on, what difficulty you're on. You know, what can enhance your enjoyment of the game. I'd say the, the outdoor maps are much better. Like, that was an outdoor map, but it was, like, quite confined still. I would definitely download the add-on. So this is the level-up system. I got loads of experience. Level up. Level 9. Level up to level 10. No. So, let's see if we can quickly show it off quickly. Quickly leave the map. So we got the store, we got the, well, we got the character, you got your powers, I leveled up so I, well, I got 14 points to put in. So this is basically like what you do in the campaign, you level up your character like this, you put points in, level up your health, you can get like, put new weapons on, like that, what weapon you want, and you can you get different equipment, so like you can have medi packs, you can have ammo packs, grenade launchers that are like one use items, and then you can go back to the store and buy some stuff. So I don't even know how you put how do you put the attachments on? I don't know. But that's the it's you know it's pretty fun I guess. If you it's kinda cool like you can level up, get loads of weapons. And you know, basically just a horde mode. But it's kind of cool. You can play as like the crows and stuff like that. So I can change character. You can play as like the. You have to unlock them, but you can play as like the Asari, play as the drill, stuff like that. So you can play as the Krogan, play as the Turians. You can play as the. Quarians and the Salarians. So yeah. yeah. So it's you know, it's pretty fun, I guess, if you want to play as like the Krogan. But you know, it's just it's just really a horde mode, but it's it's cool to play along with like the Mass Effect stuff. So yeah, that's it.